What up, though, YouTube? This your boy, Always Fresh. Um, yeah, like I was saying on my sneaker channel, I was about to start getting into my car content. Um, for those of you who, you know, been been on my channel, you already know I've already been into the car content. But it's been a while, but, uh, well, here's my Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, about to take the factory wheels off and put my 22s on it. Um, like I said, there's a few little mods I'm gonna do to it. Eventually, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna paint it or just get it like buffed out or whatever. I got a few dents and stuff in it from people hitting it with their doors and stuff like that, but eventually, I'm gonna have to get that fixed. But <clears throat> about to go ahead and throw these rims on. Um, I ain't gonna show the whole process of it because it's just gonna take too long. Or either that, I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of it. And, um, you know. But this is just one of my mods right here. I got a full way somewhere, but I don't know where it's at, so <clears throat> I ain't gonna worry about it. Shit painted, put the six on it. Technical difficulties, but I'm back. It rained and everything, so slow down my progress. But as you can see, gotta put this last tire on because it had a flat. And this was the first tire I put on. Had to take it off. Go put some air in it. Now I'm putting it back on.
FYI, y'all. When you hand tighten something, you actually get it more tighter than the torque wrench would. So you actually don't have to have your lug nut super tight. That's how they get, I don't know if she's gonna say frozen, but that's how they get stuck or hard to take off. Once that wheel start rolling and heating up, everything swell up on it. So when you over torque it, it'd be hell getting it off of there. But usually when you hand tighten stuff, you probably over torquing it. A torque wrench don't tighten stuff as tight as you think it do. it off jack mode it'll level itself back out but y'all gotta remember with these Cherokees you gotta put it in jack mode before you jack the car up because it'll throw the leveling off um, but it's in jack mode now so once I take it off jack mode it'll uh, level itself back out so you can see the back sitting up higher than the front that's because I just jacked it back up though and that's them air shocks so I'm about to put the center caps back on and I'm gonna go um, put air in all the tires because they still kind of low some of them and it's starting to rain so let me hurry up and do this <laughs> these ain't no expensive rims I ain't, I ain't gonna say they cheap but let me get some Forte rims back at it again it been raining off and on so I had to keep stopping a few things so now I'm back at it I'm about to go and finish it up Her had a flat, had to put some air in that, had to take it back off, put some air in it. There you have it. Just look real aggressive with these black and chrome on it. I think I'm eventually change something up about it. Um, maybe next summer. I got a couple more mods I'm gonna do. Um, I 
out today though. Just for fun. I gotta change my reverse lights, change my interior lights, and that'll be it for the time being. But I just want to ride a little bit. Uh, you know, a little bit different than I have been. Got the factories on it. Uh, just been procrastinating. been a bunch of car shows already dream crew just passed so i'm just like i say just want to do a little something different to it but here y'all go that's my first mod and to this the factories are 20 by 50 by 265 these are 22 by 30 by 265 so they are the same width. Um, you know, you can tell the meat, the meat size, the height a little different. They don't rub, they don't scrub or none of that. Um, it is a taller wheel than the, you know, the other one, but it's not much difference. So take away the meat, add some rim. It's about almost the same. So yep. Yeah. That's it for this one. It's your boy always fresh. And I'll get back with y'all in a minute.